What an amazing pass. Just mm-hmm. a regular square pass. And, <laughs> yeah, he, and he's the lifeblood of that team. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's right. Now, where does he go next year? Is he staying? Apparently, he likes. Uh, he wants to go to Barcelona. He's been talking to Joan Felix. He's, now like, he's asking about apartments, what grocery store he should go to, <laughs> stuff like that. Paella? No, but yeah. that's another goon. Bernardo's another gooner, too, because <laughs> he's always edging every year. I'm going to Barcelona. Maybe I'll go to Barcelona. Maybe I'll go this year. He never goes nowhere. He <laughs> likes the money they're giving him in Man City. He's going to stay there. He I likes think. it there. Hey, he's playing the game. He has no intention of leaving. He's just pretending yeah. he's leaving. And then he gets, and they're like, okay, how much do you need to stay? Exactly. Keeps going up and up and up. I've done Smart. that move before. A couple of times. <laughs> and I was him, like, you know what? I'm, this place not for me. I don't yeah. know. I'm thinking about going here. It's like, oh, I've, I've done everything over here. We win all the time. I kind of want to lose more. Like, you know, like, he's like, it's kind of boring over here now. Been here for too long. And then they're like, okay, what do you need to stay? You know? Yeah. And you, what do you always say? Give him the fuck you price. Give him the oh, fuck you yeah. price. Yeah. Well, Barca doesn't have that kind of money. Mm. No, but he's using Barca. Ah, for Man you know City. how Otani used us, the yeah. Jays? That's <laughs> what he did. All right. I got a private plane. He's sending up private planes going to Bar- from City to uh, from Manchester to Barcelona all the time. Yeah. He's like, and I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> and I have restaurant reservations <laughs> in Barcelona. Ten people. That's all my friends. Yeah. Ten people <laughs> under for Bernardo Silva. S- under Bernardo Silva. <laughs> a paella restaurant. <laughs> he just pays that check and they're like, oh fuck, he's really going. <laughs> That was the most ridiculous part of that whole uh, signing Otani thing. Someone said that a sushi restaurant in Toronto had a 20-person reservation for Kikuchi. Yeah. And they're friends. And I said, holy shit, he's coming. Yeah. What? Why would that be happening? That what? was the most believable part. That was the most believable yeah. part. That's what got me hooked, line, and sinker. I was like, well, the sushi reservation. like, come That's on. real. If yeah. anything is real here, it's the sushi reservation. <laughs> and they're Japanese. They eat sushi. So this all makes sense. It was like a, one of those webs with the strings on it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? I don't know how to go back into uh, anything. Dalot scored. Dalot scored. Uh, the Zebri's final game at Brighton also. Who knows where he'll end up. I think one of the big teams is going to take him because he's got the analytics. He's got the mm-hmm. things behind him. People are going to Maybe are gonna go to United. Him. Yeah, I can go to United. That'll be good. I like this. I like it. When you get a Dutch guy, I like to see a burn. And I'm like, <laughs> you got the Ten Hag. You had, you got the Ten Hag. You could have got the Amarim. Eat it. Keep eating shit. Yep. Mm. Speaking uh, of uh, Portuguese guys who are about to leave, I think, I think uh, I've read something that Sean Gillen said, and I think everyone's kind of like clued in on it, which is like, Bruno doesn't want to be there anymore. No. He's put in his time, and it's got nowhere. He's got to go yeah. to a winner. He's a winner mentality player. He's doing all the work, and the rest of the guys are shit. Fake injury. It'd be nice to yeah. win that title Faking and go injury. out on a, on a big one. I'll, I'll definitely watch that FA Cup final if I'm yeah. around. They're going to try. What do you mean if you're around? Well, sometimes you're you're working. You're putting in a shift. You're double down on... Oh, on FA on Cup's the, always like fucking first freaking. thing in the morning, like 7.30 kickoff. No, I can, I can make that then. Yeah. You can't wake up. <laughs> I'll you be won't up. even be asleep I'll be up. It depends when the union calls. I him. haven't clocked out yet. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys hear about the uh, the VAR debate that the teams are going to vote on? Ooh, Ooh tell they're gonna us. get rid of uh, VAR. What? They're going to vote on whether they should get rid of VAR or not in yeah. the Premier League, which is the main, like, yeah. the one who started the VAR. So they're going to keep the uh, the offside uh, technology, okay. the goal line technology. All of that stays, but, like, in terms of fouls and calls, it comes down to whatever the ref sees on the field. Oh, so you can secretly start elbowing people again yeah, in the, that can in the nerds. Back, come back up. I like that. Yeah. I like that you can get away with some roughness instead. It Punch is, a guy in the throat. Yeah, that makes it kind of exciting because the game will get a bit rougher, which is cool. But yeah. there could be more injuries. Yeah. That's where it kind of backfires. But it's also this like, is where Pep will thrive. Someone yes. should sign him in the Premier League. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're kind of uh, allowing a bit, of a bit of a dirty football to come happen. Because you see, so, you see something happen in real time. And sometimes it doesn't look bad, and then you see it in slow motion, you're like, oh, that guy's a piece of shit. And then sometimes vice versa, right? Yeah. So. But that's why. It's like you can't really trust the, some of the calls that they make already. So it's like, what's the difference? Like, just go with the play on the field. Mm. But if you get a problem with that, no. the, or, or Portuguese League had a problem with that, where, like, in the beginning of the year, they called, like, a red card on someone stepping on a guy's foot. And then the whole year, they had to call a red card every yeah. time a guy stepped on a guy's foot. What just foot. happened to Tomato? Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I don't like it when it's a dive. Mm. I don't like when it's a dive. When somebody dives and they go down, they're like, penalty shot, and then they go back and look at it, they're like, 
Nobody touched them. Dives yeah. should be reviewable I, I think, all the time. I think dives should Bo- be reviewable. Any box stuff should be reviewable. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. You can't go back. Like, you can't yeah. put the mustard back in the mustard mm-hmm. bottle or whatever yeah. they say. That's a better expression a for that. <laughs> or the horseradish mayo. You can't, put the, you can't put the expired horseradish mayo back <laughs> into the thing. That's in you now. And now it's you got to shit out. it out, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Patrick just ate some old mustard, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was expired 2020. I didn't even know. <laughs> hey, no, it was best, it before. best before. Best before. Best expired. Best before. I used it on my last one. It was good. Okay. And so, well, yeah, we'll you can't see. trust those things. Well, uh, what Mar- did Jose Mourinho say, Evan? He said, hey, only only thieves don't like security cameras. That's right. So that's a good way to He's look at it. He's got good lines. Someone said, this guy, someone on Twitter said, this guy, this man has bars. Undeniable. Yeah. This yeah. guy knows how to talk. Well, that's why he's in the rap videos, right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I don't know if a lot of people are like sick of, um, they're probably sick of Man City winning and stuff. That's yeah, four years straight now. So on Twitter, people are like, why don't we, I don't think four years straight has ever happened in the Premier League. Why aren't we giving up to him? Who's ever done it like uh, like Man City? And everyone's like, Lance Armstrong, Lance Armstrong, <laughs> Lance Armstrong. Because they're saying they cheated. Oh, and yeah. they have so much financial fair play irregulations. But they don't get doc- docked any points. And said Everton, who managed to stay up, keeps getting docked. Like halfway through the year, they docked them like three more. They're like, get the fuck down. Yeah. And they're like, no, we're staying up. They buddy. took 10 and then they gave them back like eight. <laughs> I think weird. Nottingham Forest got something too. And uh, uh, yeah, they bought a lot of play, bought like a whole new squad. <laughs> and interestingly, uh, uh, did I mention this last week? People are saying that, you know, um, Pep's teams, uh, especially in Barcelona, they would play against them and they just like would run and run and run and they never got tired and it was impossible humanly impossible for this to happen cuz like man united was like we're so fit how are we not how are, are these guys running so much more than mm-hmm. and pep during his playing career was a uh, band for blood doping and maybe he made his team's blood dope. This is what people are saying. Ooh. Maybe he got his team on a Lance Armstrong kind of situation where you never get tired. It would help you a lot in football. Blood doping. That's crazy. Think about it. So you're How could you get around that? They're a bunch of vampires. <laughs> well, they get they get fresh blood put into them uh, during the game with high blood. blood a blood of a teen. <laughs> a young, fertile person. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what it, kind of blood do you it's get? It's your own blood. Oh. Yeah, or something. So what do you... Do you Put your blood aside and let you it. You get rest. more blood. You got to watch this Lance Armstrong documentary. They explain all of it. It's really disgusting. But okay. what you do is, it's like, uh, and then you shoot EPO into yourself, so you get like fresh. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Right. How does it taking your blood out and then putting it back into you give you energy? I don't. Don't <laughs> knock it till you try. That part I don't know, but the part I do know is EPO. It lowers your, it raises your like red blood cell count or something, mm. and you just don't get tired. So that's what a lot of the bikers used to do, uh, cyclists would do. I want to do that. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> I think it's expensive. <laughs> I think it might know a guy. Yeah. You know uh, a blood guy? We'll look into yeah, it. blood guy. You don't know until you ask around. Well, it has to be a doctor. You know, I know doctors. Oh, okay. Next podcast, we'll have our red blood cells up. Yeah. yeah. We'll do it on we'll red get blood cells. And then we, don't, we won't need the naps that, that we all take during oh, yeah. the day. Thanks once again for listening. Hit us up on social, Portugal underscore corner on X. Join us on Patreon. Listen to Talking Portugal in the Corner. Listen on Pama. Check out YouTube. YouTube! <laughs> Email us at the Portugal Corner at gmail.com. Subscribe every your podcast. Take a minute to leave a rating and review. Tell your friends. Tell your revo. Check out the oldies. Um, and then, yeah, if you're uh, a listener, we'll probably take a couple weeks off until the Euro hits. And uh, we'll see you then. Adios. Thanks for having us. Cool. Thanks Bye. for uh, standing by in the season. We'll see you soon. Another great season. Thank you.